surprising number of people who did not staple their homework after my big rant. There's a stapler downstairs like right when you walk in the door. So we want to test it with things we know exactly what the answer is going to be. If we use like say 37.5, I don't know what it is, but we might get an answer and be like, sure, looks great. But if we use t test variables that we know the answer to, like if we put it in 12, it should come out to be 100. I just got back to my car and I found this on the windshield. It says, Happy Valentine's Day, Emily Cohen. Thanks, Emily. You're the best. I am a little curious though about how you found my car. Because there are a lot of parking spaces on campus. I'm trying to do homework, but everybody's playing games. Nobody cares. That's a quote from a video that Stefan did called No Home Left. Oh, hi, other kitty. Determine the points at which the function is discontinuous and state the type of discontinuity. Removable, jump, infinite, or none of these. None of these. <laughs> ah, the money fell all over the floor. This is a game called Power Grid. Power. Which I've never played, but I've always wanted to play, but Power. I never have time to play. It's got a great little economic element. Um, every turn the resources are produced and then you buy them. It's like uh, real life. Your breath <laughs> smells <laughs> like life. shock top. Thanks. I... I put it on for ya. <laughs> it's time for another What I'm Doing Right Now shout out. This comes from Brandon Matheny who says, I unfortunately have to retake the bar exam. I got a 137 out of 200, 140 is passing, February 24th and 25th. So I think it'd be really awesome if everybody in the comments wished Brandon good luck on his bar exam. And hopefully all the extra positivity will help him get those three extra points. Right, Kat? Right.